How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we've got another type of video which falls in the category of the type of videos that you all really like. In the past, as you've seen, I've done a couple of videos on things you didn't know in Forza Horizon 4, like secret features, secret, just little, little details that are just really cool. Now today we're not doing that. Today I want to talk about 12 things that I want Forza Horizon 4 to have or just 12 things that I think Forza Horizon in general doesn't necessarily need but would be really cool to have. But just because it sounds better I'm going to call this 12 things that I think the Forza Horizon franchise needs. Whether this is in this Forza or the next one, these are some things that I think could really change how Forza Horizon is played. I'm honestly just going to jump straight into it with the first thing. We're going to start a little bit basic, but then it gets into some more advanced things, which probably most of you aren't going to expect. But once you hear them, you think, that's not a bad idea, Jake. The first thing I think is more customization, more car customizations. And some of you will say, well, we've already got enough. But no, just hear this out. Let me paint a little bit of picture for you all. Let's say you're playing Forza Horizon 4 online with your mate Roger. Let's just call him Roger. He wants to show you his car, so you meet up with him, but he's already told you that he's in a Nissan GTR, for example. As soon as he tells you, oh, I'm in a Nissan GTR, you already, that's it. You know what it's going to look like, you know what he's in, and there's no surprises. Every single person's Nissan GTR in the game looks the same, apart from maybe a different paint scheme and different rims. I think there should be so many more customizations. For example, neon lights under the car. Yeah, it may be a bit cheesy, but this is an arcade game, for Christ's sake. The ability to move the hood, to remove the bonnet, remove the wing mirrors, remove the wing, change the colour of the door, change the colour of the tail lights. Just so many different customizations. So there's so many different variants that this GTR could look like. The way Forza is at the moment, if you lined 10 differently upgraded Nissan GTRs up in a line, they'd look very similar. But I want that to be different. I want there to be so many different customizations that you can do to a car that they all look so different to each other. Even if it's just as simple as removing the hood so the engine's exposed or removing the roof off any car. Just whatever you want. It's an arcade game. I think we need more customizations. Remove the rear bumper. Imagine that. Imagine a bunch of Lamborghini Gallardos running around with no rear bumper on in Forza Horizon 4. That would be wicked. But anyway, that's the first one. I know that was kind of an expected one, but I hope you all agree with me that some more customization wouldn't help and it would open a whole world of opportunities up. The second one is very simple, but very straightforward. Indicators. Again, I have seen the dev build of Forza Horizon 3 and I know that you can turn your indicators on and off in the dev build. So why not add it as a feature? You know, if I want to turn left at this junction, pop my indicators on and turn around. No one's going to use them. It's just another tiny little feature which just makes it a little bit more realistic. Even hazard lights as well. You could have a little light fancy dance thing with your mates in your cars. I know it's possible because I've seen the dev build. Just another cool thing I think would be cool for the game. Number three, I think we need more things along the lines of two-step, rolling launch, launch control, and stuff like that. As most of you will know recently, they have actually added a proper kind of launch control into the game. Um, for the past few Forzas anyway, you've been able to launch your cars quite nicely at an RPM if you're choosing, which is cool. Let's have some more things. Let's get two-step in here where you can spool up the turbos and get loads of speed and then shoot off the line and... An insane amount of backfires off the line. Even rolling boosts, so I'm going steady at 100 miles an hour here. I can mash the throttle and the brake at the same time, let go of the brake, and it will boost me forward at full boost without having to lose any speed. The reason I think I don't think we're going to get these is because it's probably going to be quite difficult to code rolling boost and anti-lag and two-step into the game. I don't know, I just think two-step, anti-lag, stuff like that, be a cool addition, especially to some certain cars like the GTR. Fourth one on the list is a bit of a weird one, but again, it's probably quite simple to do. It's technically already partly coded into the game, so why not make it available? Customizable UIs. I've seen many, many questions in the comment section below. How have you changed the colour of the root of your waypoint? Mine's yellow, unlike many people's. How are all of my PR stunts pink? Why are all of these red? That's because I just have a colourblind mode on. Having a colourblind mode on changes the colours of some of your icons. For mine, it changes quite a few of them and they look pretty cool. I like having a yellow thing and I like having red icons. There's clearly something in the code that changes the colour of PR stunts and waypoints. 
why not make it completely customizable? Add a little bit of a setting in the menu where you can change your PR stunt colour, your waypoint colour to whatever colour you want. This probably isn't that hard to add, but just imagine it when you click this menu and all of this is your own colour. You can have the background as whatever colour you want, you can have the text as whatever colour or font you want. Very simple things, but would just be very cool to have in the game. Just add a bit more customization to it all. On to number 5 is a bit of a strange one, but I'm going to paint you another picture. Look at this map. It's a very big Forza Horizon 4 map, but once you've explored it all, let's say 10 times, that's it. You'll never ever find a road that you've never raced on before. Every single race will be on roads that you've already been on before, you know what they're like. There's nothing, absolutely nothing unexpected, which is why I think we need stunt races. Similar to GTA 5 where they added stunt races to the game where you could just have little, even just little jumps or pipes to go through. I think pipes is quite excessive on this game. But just imagine if they added stunt blocks, jumps and little things like that to the root creator of this. You could do so many things, even just bollards to the game. We're completely restricted to the Forza Horizon 4 map and there's no way we can change anything. So let's let us add things, stunt jumps, pipes, just boulders, just things to put in the way or to go up in races. But you get what I mean, the possibilities of races would be endless if we had that, but currently they're not endless because we're stuck to the Horizon 4 roads. Next up on the list is another weird one, but once you all listen to it, you'd think it's not a bad idea. Next up on the list is one that I've seen quite a lot of people asking for recently, but and I know for definite is entirely possible for them to do, and that is more silly vehicles. I think that they should add the ability for us to drive around in the bus in Horizon 4, the truck, the tractor, even the jet. Well, maybe not the jet, that's a bit extensive, but the tractor trailer just stuff like that a caravan just why not it's just funny it's an arcade game it's funny it's something to do back in horizon 3 i used to do loads of mods and i could easily get the bus into the game easily get the truck i could even make a plane can't do races in them at all but just something to drive around in for fun in horizon 4 why not that'd be a cool feature now yeah, next up on the list is another highly requested feature which i do think is possible someday window stickers I really, really want window stickers in the game at some point. At the moment, as you'll know, it's not possible to paint on the windows of your car. When you run a sticker over it, it'll just disappear and it'll pop out the other side. Can you imagine if we had the ability to sticker up windows, completely remove the passenger windows with a black or white sticker, or add a little monster logo to the top of the windscreen, add a big willy on there, and it adds more possibilities for you to upgrade your car uniquely if you know what I mean. And it's such a simple feature, so why not? Window stickers. Next up, I do not think we're probably ever going to get because it doubles, if not triples, the amount of work that has to be done on certain things on cars. But that is exhaust sounds. I think that in the engine menu, when you upgrade the exhaust, I think it should change how the exhaust sounds. I'm sure many of you will know in the Nissan GTR, for example, in real life, having a straight piped exhaust sounds very very different to a stock exhaust removing the catalyzer makes it sound very different as well and because nothing's illegal in Forza Horizon 4 let us do that let me upgrade to the race exhaust in this Bugatti Veyron and make it sound louder more raw more poppier why not but as I said this will double the amount of work because they'll essentially have to make two or three different engine sounds for each car it could really bring out the livelihood of the cars to be able to put a different exhaust and have them sound different instead of just one engine sound per car. Next up is one which has been in previous Horizon games before, but they kind of removed it, and I don't really know why. The whole point of playing Forza Horizon is to get in nice cars, upgrade them, make them nice to your liking, and show them off. But there's no real way of showing them off, which is why I think they need to bring car meets back. Just simple car meets at car meet areas where all of your cars are lined up perfectly with their engine bay up, and you can walk around everyone's car in the meet and just admire it. If you compare this with the more customizations where people can paint different things like their engine bay and upgrade different things, remove their hoods, remove the mirrors, paint the windows, you know, you, you have no idea what you could come across at car meets and that would make them more exciting. So car meets, just a simple way to show off your cars in Forza Horizon 4 with your mates or randomers. Why not add them back? Now the next one is a 
bit of a complicated one, but if you hear me out, you may agree that it's not a bad idea. In every single Forza game so far, there has been one car which is literally, officially the fastest car in the game, and there's no doubt about it. That's just because that car, paired with a certain engine, it's unbeatable, just like that. Which is why I think something similar to a custom engine or a custom car should be possible. Imagine if you had the ability to literally make from the ground up a custom engine of your own, which with a lot of money and a lot of work could be the fastest engine or with the fastest car in the game. That would be brilliant. If I came across, let's say, a McLaren 720S on this highway, I would look at it and I would know for certain that is not the fastest car in the game. But I want it to be possible that every single car I look at could be faster than I thought, it could be slower than I thought, just because it could have a custom engine that the creator has built. I think it should be very, very difficult to get a fast engine of your own. I think it should be mega expensive and you should have to do a lot of work for it. But it would be cool and then there would never ever be an official fastest car in the game because you would have to work towards it and make your own engine, put it in whatever car you want, and have your own car. I don't know, I think it would be weird, but if done correctly, it could be pretty cool. Next up is another very simple one, which I think would only require a very little amount of coding to actually activate and work permanently, and that's just the ability to do burnouts, and just a little bit more tyre smoke as well. Believe it or not, the BMW M5 in Forza Horizon 4 is one of the only cars in the game you can do a burnout in while completely stationary. It's quite difficult to do, but it's possible. Here we go, doing a burnout while completely stationary. Although I'm losing power. It's possible, but every other car will either completely stall or you won't be able to do it without being rolling at least a couple of miles an hour. Just, just make every car like the M5. The ability to burn out your wheels while completely stationary at a stop still. And along with that, add a little bit more tyre smoke as well, because why not? That's also not very hard. I've seen that in the Forza Horizon 3 dev build code. This is what every other car in the game will do. You will have to do this to do a burnout instead of completely stood still. On to the last one now, which is another very little one. Would require quite a lot of work, but I think it's already in the game partly. Again, thanks to the dev build of Forza Horizon 3, I know half of it's already here. Lots of you will know in GTA 5, you can pull up your cell phone and you can do all sorts with it. You can text someone, you can call a different car or whatever. Now, I think we should have a similar thing in Forza Horizon 4, which has different things such as a stopwatch. Imagine having a handy in-game stopwatch just available to do whatever you want with. Do, you do your own little drag races with your mates, just to time how long it takes you to get to 200 miles an hour. You want to get Annie to Venom and see if you can beat the 0 to 300 time of the Yara RS, but you can't do it because you've got no stopwatch. Just a little flip up phone in game that has stuff like a stopwatch. Hell, even the ability to call your own car. I would love to have a pop up stopwatch in the game that I can use whenever I want for whatever I want. I believe that's all of the 12 features I have jotted down, guys. I can think of loads more things, but these are the 12 main things that if I thought that if they were in all in the game at once, it would be unbelievable. But anyway, boys, please let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you think I'm wrong with any of these, if you think any of these will be bad for the game, and which ones you agree with, I agree with them all, obviously. We've got an exciting week ahead of us for the new update coming out. We're going to have several videos coming up about the new features, the new cars and stuff like that, if any of you are confused. But as always, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all... Oh, tree! Later.